Tim Nedwed, Technology Innovation. And I'm gonna test it against our new dispersant. For more than a decade, Tim Nedwed has been working on innovative solutions for treating oil spills. The leader of ExxonMobil upstream research company's oil spill response program was ready when a potential disaster struck in the Gulf of Mexico. Tonight there's a state of emergency in effect in the state of Louisiana. The Deepwater Horizon spill gushed from the seafloor for three months and may have released between 20 to 50,000 barrels of crude oil a day into the Gulf. It just makes sense, rather than letting the oil come up to the surface and having to find it and inefficiently treat it with dispersants, if you're going to use dispersants, put it at the source exactly where you know the oil is. Tim's research suggested that injecting dispersants into the spill's source rather than on the surface would break the oil into small droplets that would biodegrade in the water column to keep oil from reaching the surface and fragile Gulf Coast shorelines. Knowing the guys that were on the ground waiting for that oil to come in and telling me that, gosh, we just aren't seeing the oil, well, that's when I knew, and that was a few weeks into the spill. We, were we did something important. This new approach is not only credited for lessening the amount of oil that reached the shore, but also limiting the amount of potentially harmful vapors that reached response workers on the surface. He took his years of experience and research, and in a, in a time of very high pressure, he came up with a solution that impacted uh, a lot of people in a very significant way. Now, as a result of Tim's efforts, the equipment needed for subsea dispersant injection is being installed in oil producing regions around the world. Tim's next challenge, developing new ways to treat oil spills in the freezing waters of the Arctic, which includes, among other ideas, a concept for controlled burning of oil using herding agents to thicken slicks without booms. This allows igniting and burning oil from helicopters instead of boats. The speed of a helicopter-deployed response option could fundamentally change industry's approach to oil spill response in all areas and not just the Arctic. We try to do things to make our ability to respond to oil spills better. But our hope is to never use them. <laughs>